Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Doinesius versus Lefe Burr fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, Lefe Burr, sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, is 16 0 with 1 KO, and same with uh, if my pronunciation for Doinesius is 35 and 4 with 6 KOs. This fight is for the WBO World Super Bantamweight Championship. Lefe Burr's last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus Soroche, and Doinesius' last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus Acuna. Lefe Burr is 29 and Doinesius is 35, so of course that big age gap there. Lefe Burr typically heading into a prime more than what Doinesius is. Doinesius' losses have come against Carabayao in 2022, Yana Sakio in 2021, and uh, Lujan in 20, uh, 2019 and Guanini in 2018. Uh, she has been very active from what I've seen. Uh, um, and yeah, just always fighting. I respect her for doing that. And of course, she is coming off a win herself. This is in Lefe Burr's home country of France. And so, of course, you get that added pressure, uh, but also that added support of being the home fighter. So let's speak about Lefe Burr. She is a counter puncher. Uh, who can fight and does well at close range. She has fast changes in tempo. She fights in short bursts. She's got good combinations. She's composed. She can fight on the front or the back foot. She gets out of corners well, and she always returns with her own punches after being hit. Kind of explains a counter punch here to an extent. Um, but yeah, she's she's a... She's a good counter puncher is what I'd say. I think when she wants to attack herself and she hasn't really got a counter puncher or an attacking fighter that she's against, I think she doesn't look her best and she can lose rounds by just not looking her best because she's not overly used to attacking herself. She's more wanting to invite the pressure on and then counter from there. But as a counterer, she is very good. She's got that them quick hands uh, she's got, of course, like I said, the fast changes in tempo. She'll definitely invite you forwards and then come in short bursts. She's got the good combinations. She'll go to the body. She'll go to the head. Uh, she'll throw uppercut. She'll throw hooks. She'll throw all the other punches. And she's composed from what I've from what I said. And yeah, she she will take this pressure and then maybe take a couple few big punches. But then she will deliver with her very big punches, and she won't get. She won't panic or anything like that. She does, like I said, keep composed and keep calm. Um, and uh, of course, like I also said, she gets out of corner as well, which means that she, when she is being invited, when she is inviting the pressure, then she can get out of any problems that she might face by getting out of the corner as well. Um, other than that, I'd say her movement isn't amazing, but I think that is the best part of her movement. Um, as the negatives, she's not overly powerful. I mean, of course, one KO. Um, she stands quite upright and is quite flat-footed at times and so I don't think she's faced a crazily powerful puncher or a crazily tough test I think this is probably her toughest test to date um, but that can that can mean if she does face a power punch I'm not really saying that Dionysius is that but she might struggle um, she's not overly attacking like I mentioned she doesn't fully commit to her combinations kind of links to the not overly attacking thing I think she probably could have got maybe the I suppose journeymen or journey women uh, fighters out of there a couple more than what she has but she just hasn't committed as much to her combinations because it is down to her attacking mindset she isn't like I said overly attacking and so when she does potentially get her opponent hurt or in a vulnerable position she'll throw and she'll look like she's getting success with what she's throwing but then just stop go back let her regroup it is a good thing to an extent it means that she's not going in too wild or too reckless or over committing and tiring herself out but it just means that she probably isn't going to get many stoppages in her whole career unless she starts changing that around um let's speak about Doinisius. so she is more experienced of course she's got a good jab she'll want the center to an extent she can fight off the back foot as well she's got an imposing jab uh, she's got a high guard she will attack attacking fighters and uh, that's something which i found interesting about her she's also good in close range uh, she aims to hit and not get hit 
and she's in and out fighter and she's got good head movement um the fact that she can get hit and not get hit when she does put that together which she did put against uh, did do against Acuna uh, it makes her quite a tough opponent to face but i think Lefe Burr's countering might be able to counteract that um but it also might invite to what she wants because if she can get in and out catch Lefe Burr leaning in diving in herself then she can then counter herself counter the counterer to her to an extent and if she can do that then she might be able to find success there um she does kind of dive in herself she wants to stand toe to toe uh she's not got a crazy high volume uh and she hasn't faced too tough a tests is what i'd say obviously she's more experienced but i don't think she's faced crazily tough tests i don't think there is a crazy amount in this division currently but there's a few coming up and coming through like Lefty Burr so I like this fight for both of these fighters um, but I think that Doinicius kind of struggles the most when she is against an attacking opponent like I said she will attack the attacker but when she's against an attacking opponent she will get hurt and she can get hurt because she is one she's coming forwards they're coming forwards then it's a war and uh, then she can get hurt because she doesn't really want to take the backward step and she does want to keep going forwards. Obviously, she can take the backward step and when she occasionally does, she is quite good, but she doesn't always want to do that and doesn't always do that. And that's why she'll probably struggle the most when she is against a fighter like that. But I wouldn't say that Lefe Burr is that kind of a fighter. Lefe Burr is going to be wanting her title back, uh, this WBO a world Super Bantamweight title is currently with Dionysius, uh, but it used to be with Lefe Burr, and she only got it stripped due to injury, uh, and so she, she, of course, is going to be wanting this belt back, and uh, Lefe Burr is the favourite for this fight, and I think that Dionysius will win via unanimous decision. I think, I'm just going with all the bold shouts at the moment, but I believe that, like I've mentioned, I think if Lefe Burr wants to counter Dionysius the way she fights with the in and out kind of style if she can do that and not overly commit to anything then she or overcommit too much because I think she can overcommit at times get hit a few times and not really like face much of a problem because like I said Lefe Burr's not overly powerful but if she can she is going to be a shorter fighter for this and so if she can maybe use her opposing jab it'll be tougher um, but if she can then that will help her a lot and I think she is more used to being a smaller fighter anyway to be honest um but yeah I think Dionysus will win by unanimous decision because I think the attacking I don't think like I said that Lefe Burr is an attacking opponent and so I think that Dionysus could just kind of go in and out keep doing that all night and uh yeah win that way I wouldn't say it would be a overly crazy entertaining fight but I think it is a good matchup and a matchup that is good for the division um, and then a couple of fights which could happen. Uh, I know Ellie Scott is probably the face of this division at the moment because obviously he's got the big deal with Matchroom and everything like that. But Mercado is the WBC champion currently. That could be a fight that might happen. Uh, and then Motu versus Walters. Uh, Motu is an also an undefeated fight, I believe, like 18 and 0. I might be wrong. Uh, so, and versus Walters, I think, like 4 and 1. Um, so whoever wins that one I'd assume it'd be Moto um, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight either I know that Scotney's got a fight I forgot who she's against now it's an Australian fighter um, but yeah I think them two fights will probably be the best I don't think any Scotney's gonna fight or be looking to fight um, Doinesius at the moment but I think that with the current way that women's boxing is as a whole these kind of few weight classes that don't have like a leading star is calling out for one and of course any scott is probably the one in there for the moment but she's not up there at the moment and it means that these fights probably could be made easier because i don't think any of these fighters have got big time contracts with big promoters or anything like that and so i think if eddie Hearn wants to get a big fight with an ellie scott Lee, if she wins the next fight then she could definitely do one and a dionysius definitely could be an option or a lefe burr or a Motu, or a Walters, or a Mercado, they could all be options, and I'm sure that's what you'll be wanting to look into. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like if you need like this, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.